Can you hear me? Oh, yes, we can. Wait, I can't hear you. Hold on. <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me share my screen. Okay. Hopefully you can see this. Um, thank you again for inviting us to this innovation festival and uh, allowing us the opportunity to present and to introduce conductive technologies. And I'm sorry for the technical difficulties earlier. I know it's late for some people, so I will um, make this short and sweet. And then if there are questions, you can put that in the chat file and I will uh, exit out of the presentation mode uh, and look at that. Because unfortunately, you can't, I can't see while I'm going through um, the PowerPoint. Okay. Um, my name is Allison Pittenger. I am the Director of Sales for Conductive Technologies. I've been with the company for almost two years, but I have been in the contract manufacturing space specifically for medical device for about 16 years. Um, so I want to introduce Conductive Technologies. We are a contract manufacturer. I will come back to that in a minute. We have been in business since 1970, so over 50 years. We are located in York, Pennsylvania. That is our only manufacturing um, operation that we have. It's a 110,000 square foot building. So we have lots of um, space for our equipment and uh, new investments that we're bringing in. We are ISO 1345 and 9001 certified. This becomes important for medical device, if specifically when you're taking your product from concept all the way through to commercialization. So we have uh, the quality systems in place that are compliant with FDA so that once you go through the submission process and you get your approval to go commercial, uh, we have all of the documentation required to support those efforts. Our primary expertise is in screen printing. So we have a heavy focus in, in medical device, um, advanced printed electronics, ablated circuitry, and then electrochemical sensors. However, we do have legacy industrial business, uh, primarily in membrane switches, and we still do manufacture those switches for our legacy customers, and we also welcome industrial projects as well um, in the communication space, in the transportation space, and automotive. Um, we take it on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, one of the things that I think is, um, is, is nice for our manufacturing facility is if you have certain requirements on manufacturing um, cleanliness, we do have a class 10,000 modular clean room, but we also have other manufacturing space that's available that um, offers high and low humidity as well as high and low temperature, depending on any chemistries that we may be, may be depositing onto the sensor itself, or if there is a membrane that is sensitive to humidity. So when we're talking about um, wearables specifically, because that is a, a focus for us, and I'm gonna combine kind of this slide and I'm gonna toggle to the next two. It becomes important to look at which substrates um, you specify as well as which inks you specify because you need a compatible system for this wearable market uh, because a lot of the wearables are around remote patient monitoring. And when, that, uh, when you're looking at that in the end user, you need some conformable materials. So most people are used to looking at printed sensors on polyesters which we do quite well, um, but that is a very rigid material to be used for the wearable space. So we also have experience printing on TPUs, uh, polyurethane foams, and, and other, um, other rigid plastics as well. But for the wearable space, we can print on conformable and flexible and stretchable uh, materials. And sometimes with the stretch, that can be a challenge for manufacturing. So we get our vendors to provide it on a carrier to provide uh, rigid rigidity through the process. And the, the same goes for the inks that you're picking um, 